They realize if they can get you in the door, they will upsell you. Upselling is the key word. Listen, Apple makes the most of their money through their model mix, right? They also make money through their storage upgrades. I and we and you, all of us, we're consumers. We purchase because we want to, not because we have to or need to, we, we want to. What I'm seeing today is most people are less inclined to buy or spend the extra money for additional storage. Shout out to you guys, kudos. Don't do it anyway. Like I'm, I'm saying, don't, don't spend that extra amount on storage um, because this is Apple's marketing strategy, right? Their marketing strategy is to get you to buy the premium product. Apple understands that if they can get you to get more storage, then they're going to make more money from it. And so therefore they encourage you to buy more storage. Here's uh, a secret that most of us do not know. Apple actually pays, they pay the same amount for the storage chip that they provide you in your phone. You have a phone that has a storage space of 256 gigs versus your neighbor who has a phone that has storage of 512 gigs. Apple pays nearly the same amount of money to place that storage, that, that storage chip in both phones. Well, guess who pays more? You do. It's virtually the same for Apple to pay as they upgrade the storage chip, but they're gonna charge you more on the back end. And this approach has been proven successful for years in and years out. I'm, I'm literally letting you know, this is the secret to what Apple does to get more money from its consumers. And Apple's sales have reflected this. Apple receives the most amount of money from iPhones than any other product. This approach that Apple does has, has been proven to offset otherwise the stagnation of revenues across iPhone sales. So they realize if they can get you in the door, they will upsell you. Upselling is the key word. I want to I want to really give you a, a quick tip and what you can do rather than upgrading. Right. Because some people may be saying, well, what should I do? I mean, I really want the 512. If you want the 512 versus the 256 storage, you know, get the 512. But I'm saying. What you can also do is instead of getting that 512 or getting a terabyte of hard drive of, of space in your phone, use those savings to buy better accessories, right? Get you a better set of AirPods, right? AirPods are out here. I mean, it's a great accessory that you can have. Uh, even your MagSafe, your MagSafe accessories. If you want to get a three in one charger, like use your money on better things rather than the storage, right? Here's another tip. Why not go and find a used iPhone service provider and purchase a used iPhone, right? That right there is going to get you um, in the door with half the price, right? I've even gone as far as I've actually, I've actually purchased an iPhone on eBay. I can't remember the story. I had an iPhone and maybe it was, I don't think it ran out of storage, but I may have, something may have happened to it or I think I may have broken the screen. I don't, I'm not sure, but I wasn't going to buy a new iPhone just because of whatever had happened. So, so these are sort of some tips and um, that will help you if, if you if you're like still sort of on the fence. I, I want you to leave in comments. Let me know any questions you have.